Can cool anger with non anger? Can cool badness with goodness? Can cool meanness with generosity? Can cool dishonesty with truth? Those who cling to perceptions and views wander the world, offending people. Drop by drop is the water pot filled. Likewise, the wise man, gathering it little by little, fills himself with good. I will not look at another's ball intent on finding fault, a training to be observed. Let none define fault with others. Let none to see the omissions and commissions of others. But let one see one's own necks, done and undone. Should a person do good, let him do it again and again. Let him find pleasure therein, for blissful is the accumulation of good. May all beings have happy minds. Delight in heedfulness. God will your thoughts. Should you find a wise critic to point out your flaws, follow him as you would a guide to hidden treasure. Should a seeker not find a companion who is better or equal, let them resolutely pursue a solitary course in whom there is no sympathy for living things. Know him as an outcast. Hatred is never appeared by hatred in this world. By non hatred, alone hatred appeased. This is a law internal. Live with no sense of mind, not forming attachment to experiences. Better it is to live one day seeing the rise and fall of things to live a hundred years without ever seeing and rise and fall of things. One is not called noble who harms living beings. By not harming living beings, one is called noble. If a man going down into a river Swollen swiftly following, is carried away by the current. How can he help others across? All conditioned things are important when one sees. This, with wisdom, one turns away from suffering. Ardently do today what must be done. Who knows, tomorrow, death comes. The world is afflicted by death and decay, but the wise do not grieve, having realized the nature of the world. Resolutely train yourself and attain peace. To support mother and father, to cherish wife and children, and to be engaged in peaceful occupation, this is the greatest blessing. All tremble at violence, all fear death, putting oneself in the place of another. One should not kill, nor cause another to kill. They blame those who remain silent. They blame those who speak much. They blame those who speak in moderation. There is none in the world who is not blamed. Just as the great ocean has one taste, 
the taste of salt. So also this teaching and discipline has one taste, the taste of liberation. If you want to be successful, you must respect one rule, never lie to yourself.